Ngele Mulapo, a DA Gauteng MPL, has accused the former Tswane mayor, Solim Simanga, of sexual assault. This allegedly happened back in 2014. I am wiser now. Um, I, can th I can tell the difference between... I was 28 then, I'm, I'm 34 now. I can tell the difference between a guy hitting on you and a guy um, fondling you, sexually harassing By the way, according to the SAPS, that is not harassment. It's actually an assault. It's a sexual assault. Msimanga has denied sexually harassing Molapo and has since laid charges of criminal injury against her. He should step aside. If he feels that he's innocent, then he'll clear his name. In fact, he must focus on clearing his name. Um, he must not have all these distractions. The timing of the sexual harassment case has been questioned by Msimanga supporters. He is running for the position of a leader of the DA in Gauteng in the upcoming party congress. Molapo has however denied using the allegations to discredit Msimanga. Immediately after the incident he was running for Tony mayor. So then it would have been that I want to block him from being a mayor. Shortly after the Tony mayor he was running for um, the premier candidate. Then it would have been that I want to block him from being a candidate, a premier candidate. Now it's the, the provincial leader. So in as far as the accused is concerned, there was never a time where um, you could have said he's nothing in the party where you wouldn't bring up the issue of him fighting for one position or another. Msimanga is a former Tuane mayor. This sex scandal follows that of his then successor, Stevens Mokhalapa, who resigned as Tuane mayor following allegations of sexual misconduct. You, you will know that the, the, the DA has asked many times, since the time of President Zuma, that when there were allegations that were leveled against ANC leaders, they would come out and say they are demanding that a leader of the ANC must step down while the allegations are investigated or there's a court process. In this instance also, the hypocrisy of the DA is that uh, uh, they, they are hypocritical in a way that they are not uh, uh, asking their leaders to step aside. The DA issued a statement saying that it notes allegations against Simanga. In the media statement, the party also questioned the timing of the allegations. The party also stated that Molapo is undergoing serious internal disciplinary hearing. Msimanga recently did an interview with SABC News on the matter and he also replied to my latest questions via WhatsApp where he stated that he will not be stepping aside as a DA Gauteng interim leader unless his party instructs him to do so. Sipo Stirman, SABC News in Pretoria.